Have you ever wondered what is common between the roots of a tree and the intestine? Yes, they both give us nutrients, provide us energy for us to grow and live healthy. So they are in fact life givers. So it's no wonder then that Hippocrates, the father of modern medicine, some 2500 years ago said that all diseases begin in the gut. What he probably meant way back then was that while we look after our heart, our liver, our kidneys, most of these diseases are linked to the intestine. So why the intestine? This is a neglected organ. The intestine gives us nutrients, it gives us all the energy, but it also keeps us protected. Because you know, a whopping 70% of the immune system of the entire body is found there. And therefore it is the intestine which will decide whether you'll fall sick or you'll be healthy after having that delicious plate of Golgappa. We're very careful about the food we eat, at least I am, and I think most of us are. We want a balanced diet, nutritious food, we look for fruits, the right kind of vegetables. But then what good is all that food if we have a weak intestine? It's hardly getting digested and the nutrients that we need are not even being absorbed by the body. So I, being a mother, am very careful about my family's health. In fact, that's of utmost importance to me. So I decided that let me have probiotics and include probiotics as a part of our daily diet. And you'd be surprised that ever since we have a probiotic every day, uh, there has been an improvement in health. There's been an improvement not only in gut health, but I think there are lesser infections in our family. And one thing that I observed that when my son did fall sick, his course to recovery was much faster. And before I could say Jack Robinson, he was out playing in the garden. So probiotics have been a boon for my family and I hope each one of us can adopt it as a part of the daily diet.